Hey everybody, it's Brian from iSpring. We've recently had some updates to the iSpring character library which change how you access it, so let me show you how that works. First, we're just going to click the Characters button on the iSpring toolbar to open it up. The character library is full of photos of characters from all walks of life showing different poses and emotions. The trial mode gives you 12 characters to choose from, or you can click this button to get a subscription and access a bunch more. Check out the tutorial in the description to see how to do that step by step. Once you get your login details, you can click right up here to sign in. Once you're signed in, you'll see a whole bunch more characters, and there's always more characters being added as well. As you can see, you have a much wider selection here than you did before. There's a wide range of people of different ages, ethnicities, professions, and clothing styles, and you even have some people with headsets if you want to simulate sales or support staff. This can be a little tough to sort through, so the best way to find what you're looking for is to use these checkboxes on the side. You can choose gender, clothing, age, ethnicity, action, direction, and emotion. For example, I might choose a male wearing business attire, or I might choose a female wearing something more casual. This lady looks nice. Now I can scroll down to find a nice pose, or I can narrow down my search even further by checking one of these boxes. Then I'll just double click the image to insert it on the slide. Once the image is on the slide, it's just like any other PowerPoint object. You can move it, resize it, and crop it to fit the slide. When you go back to the character library, you'll see your recent characters up here so you don't have to search for it again, and your recent poses will also be up here at the top. Plus, you can add as many character images as you want, and I've even made another tutorial that shows you how to cleverly arrange them to simulate a conversation. Just check the description below to check it out. If you want to replace a character, just delete the current image, and then swing back over to the character library to choose another one. And that about covers it! Thanks for watching! Now you're ready to add a little character and personality to your courses by using the iSpring Character Library. Did you like this video? Give it a like and subscribe to the iSpring YouTube channel for more updates.